Hi, welcome to this little um, exploration of AutoCAD and the use of the 2D DWG file that you will find on Moodle. Don't use the 3D or Revit or SketchUp models, they're there for information. Um, this needs to be done at the simplest level within AutoCAD and that means the 2D version. When you open it up you will see more or less this screen. Um, I use a Mac so my AutoCAD layout looks a little different to what you will see on the university screens but the tools are exactly the same and you will start by looking and going into the home section on the top left hand side and you will see all these tools that I'm going to use today. The opening screen you will see is much the same as what you've got here and that it opens up onto the sheet layer that is the paper space layer. What you need to do is to understand where that's coming from and what's involved in it. Down the bottom you'll see much the same that I've got down here with all these little tiny icons, the command line and also this down here which tells me that I've got two tabs open, one for the floor plans in paper space and one for the elevations in paper space. This one is in portrait mode and this one is in landscape mode. When we go on to the model space side, which is where all the detailing comes, you're going to find this. If you can't find this, type in here, zoom, press enter, and then look for this little one here that says extents. If you type in EX, it'll type the right one and bring it into the center of the screen and show you where it is. Uh, because I use a Mac, things look a little different to what you might expect to find. But leave it alone, um, you'll find exactly what I need you to find when you're doing it. Now, the model that you've got here has been drawn rather peculiarly. And you may not see everything, but believe it or not, here are the three different um, elevational treatments that was drawn from these plan sets and they were just drawn down by following lines down and making them up. And as you can see there, you'll see them, them lighting up. What we need to do is to try and change these into a colour that can be seen. And to do that, I need to just highlight the area. And what you need to do is just highlight one of these boxes. Left to right, if you drag a line across, will produce um, anything that it, it encompasses. In other words, the shaded area, if it encompasses it, it'll show it. If you do it right to left, anything it touches will be um, highlighted. So if you've done this, you'll find this up here and you can see it down here. Now if you open up your Layers tab by going into the Home menu at the top and then doing Layers and you'll see this one come up much the same as what I've got here. And you can see here there are two things highlighted dimensions which relates to this one and the elevations which relates to this one and as you can see it's been colored in a purple line now purple onto black doesn't work very well so what we want to do is to highlight the color and you'll see it in a different place but more or less you'll see it and then we want to go down and use white and as soon as I do that we can click out of it or press escape and you'll see that all the lines are now as layered will come out as white in that particular layer and we can see exactly what's going on. What I want you to do, because this is the existing house as it stands at the moment, you're going to need to do an existing section through the building. I suggest that you take this area here and take it all the way down and put in a new copy command. So command copy, command paste, and put it down here. Now if you come down to here, you'll see that it highlights it, and a little green box will come around the end point. That means I'm attaching this to that particular place. If I press shift, 
then you will make it ortho, which will put it onto the horizontal and keep it there. Keep it down, keep the shift um, press down, and then click, and it'll put it into the right place and make sure that this one is on the same level as all these along here. Now we're going to convert this to a section. And what I suggest you do is to put a section line somewhere around this area here and create this into a section line by producing the wall thicknesses here. You can drop it down from the model above and then put the floor slab in at the right level and put the floor layers in. There's the first floor and the ground floor layers and drag them across here. I suggest... Oh, there it is. Okay. So to make a new layer, we press this key down here, which is down the bottom left onto my Mac screen. On your screens, it'll be up here somewhere with a little icon over the top of it. Hover over and you'll get the information for that particular one. So I want to create a new layer and it'll create it in there. You type in section line, press enter, to create it and then we'll leave it as red because I want it to be in a red color it just shows up more and then we can start to draw into here and show exactly where the section line is going to be so that we can create it um, on the actual plan set itself then I want you to take this one over here and then create a new section for the whole lot over on here and that's the existing and then put the whole lot as a copy and put it over here. Again, lining it up with the, the bottom of the building over here and then pasting it over here as the proposed side. So then you can create a proposed section. I'll put some more information up later, but that's the basics of using AutoCAD and what you expect to see when you open it up. Cheers.